I'm going to share with you these two direction finding methods that could someday save your life. Before we get started, we need to talk about uh, what type of a watch you need. I think that a watch is an essential piece of equipment uh, for, for any of you guys, and what you want to look for in a watch are a couple things. First, I think it needs to be analog. Uh, a digital watch cannot be used as a compass. Second, your analog watch needs to be automatic. What that means is you've probably heard the terms quartz or automatic. Automatic is a watch that winds itself as you move. It's got a weighted counterbalance inside, and as you move your arm through your daily task, it winds the watch itself. Quartz runs off a battery that oftentimes you can't replace it yourself. You need special tools to remove the back and I would uh, stay away from it. One band that's very best out there are these Zulu style. There's several companies making them. And the reason why is it gives you a backup system uh, or, or an extra layer of protection against losing your watch. As we know, watches are secured to bands by these pins here and here. And traditionally, uh, watch it, the bands are connected to these pins. If one of these pins fails, uh, you lose the watch and band and all. If you're working around water or in an air, or, or just sometimes you can lose one and not even know it fell off your arm. What the Zulu style band gives you is a backup. The way it weaves underneath these pins, if one of these were to break, the watch is still secured by the other. So this is uh, the only way to go uh, for sure. And you, you, they make them for all different types of watches. So make sure you get something that's really uh, durable, robust. Make sure that the, the crystal on the front is a sapphire glass which is much more durable than plastic or just traditional glass and there are several out there. This particular one's made by Marathon and in my opinion for the money um, you cannot get a finer watch. It is uh, just absolutely top-notch. Um, a little bit big and heavy but you will get used to it after a while. So let's get to how to find direction or true north uh, using an analog watch. To find our north and south line with the hour hand, we're going to point that directly at the sun. Then we're going to find a bisecting line between the 12 o'clock position and the hour hand. This will point us to due south. What I'll do is I'll start at the 12 o'clock position and I'll count the clicks between that and the hour hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bringing this around, starting again at the 12 o'clock position, I'll divide that in half. One, two, three, four. So with my hour hand pointing at the sun, I can look at my 30, 30 position here, and that is pointing due north. The second method for finding north and south is the stick method. So in the forest, find a branch or a stick, something that's really straight and about this size that's three feet long. So there's several ways to determine that you're three feet. One thing that I do uh, on my hatchet, which I never go in the forest without, is I've ahead of time I've measured from the base of the handle up here, and I've made a notch at 12 inches with an arrow pointing this way, knowing that from here to the base is a foot uh, that I could use as a rule of measurement if I need to. Many of you guys who carry um, uh, Leathermans, you may not know this, uh, you may know it, is there is a unit of measure uh, on the handle. Find a piece of ground that's reasonably flat, scrape it down to bare earth if you can, and with a clear, unobstructed view of the sun, pound in your stick. With your stick planted in the ground, follow to the very end of the shadow and place a small stick. Set the timer on your watch for 15 minutes. So with our 15 minutes lapsed, we're going to take our second twig and put it right at the end of the shadow of our three foot stick. Pulling our stick out, we can connect these two sticks here, and this is going to give us our east and western line. How do you remember which is which? We're going to borrow a line from Jim Morrison. The west is the best. The west is first. The first stick we put in always points to the west, the second to the east. So these two skills are really important to know and they could really uh, get you out of trouble someday. I'd be willing to bet the majority of Americans wouldn't know how to do this and so I really admonish you to uh, go out and practice it a couple times. Practice it with your wife or girlfriend or kids uh, because you'll forget. Uh, it's just the way we are uh, just by watching this video. So go out, do it a couple times and we learn by doing and the repetition uh, will uh, burn that into our brain and be something that we can, uh, some knowledge that we can carry around with us that we'll never lose. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.